Hey, I'm Blake from the Calgary Sexual Health Center. On this episode, we're talking first times, again. First times are going to be different for everyone. In the first part, we talked about planning it out. And in this episode, our sex experts are going to share their stories. Are we, uh, are we r rolling? Ready to rock. Yeah. Okay. So, sex, right? So, as it happened with a lot of kids, especially my age, you know, met a girl, fell in love, happy as can be, pretty, pretty eager beaver to get into it. Cause I, I mean, even at the age of like 15, you, you sort of, sort of feel that uh, pressure, cause you think everyone else has done it. And I mean, it's not really the reality, but the fact of the matter is, you felt like you were the last one to lose your V card. Fact of the matter is, it happened, and the condom broke. Didn't check the best before date. You didn't check if there was a little air bubble that, you, that I recommend checking for. I mean, pretty, pretty novice at the whole thing. It was the first time I, I, I had a condom. But, so it broke, and we, we, we dealt with it. We didn't have enough money for the plan B, but that's a whole other story altogether. The first time is never going to be how you, how you think it's going to go, and, and you just got to go with it. Luckily, condoms don't break that often if they're used correctly. But Alex's first time brings up an important point. You need to have a plan for what to do if the condom does break. To prevent a pregnancy, you can get the morning after pill at most grocery stores, pharmacies, or sexual health clinics. And an STI test is probably a good idea. My first time, well, my first time holding hands was a little bit, when I was pretty young, my first time kissing was when I was very, very young, kindergarten got married way back then. Uh, first time doing anything else really sexual, anal sex, oral sex, never really happened. Uh, being a gay man, that's kind of different for being in our community, not being able to talk to other people about it, and always, always being asked, oh, when are you gonna go and finally do it? What about that guy? What about that guy? Going to the bars and having people ask you questions and not realizing that they're trying to pick you up and take you home. There's no magic age you're supposed to start having sex. It's different for everyone, and it's your own business. For me, I personally would have really wanted to know what the whole anatomy of a guy was back when I was a girl, even though I'm a guy now. Because with my first time, it was awkward. I mean, my girlfriend and I, we couldn't necessarily figure out exactly how to go about it, so it was tremendously awkward to go like, okay, I have a bun, you have a bun. How do we put a, how do we do it? So when we're sitting there, well, laying there, it was really romantic though, because we both really wanted it to be special and we respected one another, but also at the same time, it was very funny because we were like, where does my leg go? Where does your leg go? And yeah. So that was my first time, awkward hot dog buns. Sex will always be better if you don't take yourself too seriously. You're not going to be a pro your first time, but with practice, you will get better. So I haven't had a first time yet. I'm still a virgin in what I see as being a virgin. Um, and it's probably going to stay like that for a really long time because um, I would love if someone came up, to, or like if I was dating someone and they told me like, I saved this for you. So I'm planning to do that for some guy someday. But right now I'm just not ready for that type of thing yet. But yeah. <laughs> Stop, you're such a guy. <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> Your first time might be real special on a bearskin rug in front of a blazing fire or on a whim in a pickup truck. It can be however you want. My first time. My first time with a girl was a little impersonal. It was, it was in a group situation and you know, there was two other guys there as well and I, I, I don't think I got to give her as much attention as I would have liked to satisfy my curiosity. So uh, that, that's girl time and then boy time 
you know, I can't even remember. It would have taken a, I was pretty uncomfortable with my, you know, being interested in men earlier on in my life. And it would have been something that took a lot of, of confidence for me to do. And I think at the time that confidence would have been alcohol induced or substance induced. I just didn't have it in me to really explore that side, you know, consciously. And yeah, it also made for a pretty impersonal first experience with a man too. So, so when it comes to first times, I can't necessarily say I took the route that I had planned on, but I mean, who does, right? So that's who I am. That's who I did. It's pretty tricky to give consent when you're not sober, which is why it's technically against the law to have sex with someone who's drunk or high. It worked out all right for Tyler, but drinking a lot or taking drugs to boost your confidence can get you into some awkward situations, or worse. So the first time I had sex, I was in grade nine. Um, I was with a boy that I had been dating for about six months, and we talked about it prior and ended up being home alone and just ended up doing it. Um, and it hurt a little bit at first. Um, he just went really slow and I just kind of like held my breath. And after the first like minute or two, it was okay. And it was actually really fun. And we ended up having a lot more sex after that. So it was great. Yeah. <laughs> first times can be good. For some girls, it might hurt a bit if it's a penis, finger or sex toy. And sometimes the hymen can bleed. Take it slow, use lube and always check in with each other. So there you have it. Those are our sex expert stories. If you want to share your first time, leave it under the episode comments on our website. And if you have any further questions, get in touch with us at Calgary Sexual Health.